Hi, I'm Sharia Shovan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mount a VMware share on Linux with OpenVM tools. Let's get started. First, I'm going to share a folder on VMware on this machine. So I'm going to go to VM, Settings, Options, Share, and Enable Share and add a directory here okay I'm gonna name it share this is important note that and click on finish and now I'm gonna start my VM okay it started first I'm gonna create a directory where I'm gonna mount the share so I'm gonna go to my public directory and create a new folder I'm gonna call it share And now I'm going to open up a terminal and I have to install OpenVM tools. So sudo apt-get install OpenVM tools. That's all that's required to mount a VMware share. But if you're using a desktop operating system, you can also install OpenVM tools desktop. And I highly recommend you do that. Press enter and I'm going to type my password. Yes. Now, to mount the share, I'm going to say sudo mount t, and the type would be fuse.vmhgfs, fuse, and then the directory dot host on slash share. This is the name of the share, and I'm going to mount it to the public slash share directory, and the option O allow other. And this is important. Without this, you're not going to be able to read or write into the directory. You can see that the folders are available. Now, you may also want to um, automatically mount the share on system boot up. To do that, I'm going to open up uh, etcf staff file. And here, you're going to add the uh, mount point dot colon uh, sorry dot host colon slash share and I'm gonna mount it to home shovon public share and the type would be fuse dot vmhgfs fuse and the option allow other and zero and zero that's it now save the file now I'm going to show you that the automatic mount works. First, I'm going to unmount the share. So I'm going to say sudo umount and the directory where I mounted it, which would be public slash share. You can see that all the shared folders are gone. Now, sudo mount a which should mount everything that's listed on the ADC FSTAB file. If you refresh that directory, you can see that the shared folders are here and it would persist system reboot. So that's it for this video. Please subscribe my channel if you like what I do and thank you for watching.